Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. My name is Orist. We are back again for another ECS video with the B9S4. Finally, I've decided that we are going stage three in the nick of time. Yes, that means we're getting the TTE Turbo. But in the meantime, I've been loafing on this install for quite some time. We are doing the spark plugs and the coil packs on this car. Now, this is not a high mileage vehicle, but it's stage two tuned. It's got the downpipe intake, etc., etc. I think it's time to do them and I'm going to show you how. But before I show you how to install them, huge shout out to ECS Tuning. These guys sent me the entire kit. You can order this online. It's not expensive either. You got the red coil packs, which look amazing contrasting against the engine because currently they're black. So it'll be a little more racy in here. There's only a tiny bit of red. And included in this kit is actually the OEM spark plugs. Here they are right there if it can focus. And like I said, if you guys wanna order this, you can get it online. It's hopefully gonna be super easy, but let's find out. So if it isn't blatantly obvious yet, you can see the engine cover is missing and the metal plate. It is on the ground right there. All you need is a 13 millimeter to remove those bolts and you are set to go. Loosen these tabs here and here. I'm going to get this intake loosened and out of the way. Gonna pull this wiring harness back. I believe that's how it comes off and those three should come right out. And then I'm gonna follow it up on this side. This wiring harness is significantly bigger and much more difficult to get to those coil packs and spark plugs. I'm gonna have to loosen here and here and kind of finesse it and I'll show you guys exactly what I do. Okay, that was easy. One, two, and three. Nope. Okay, three. Let's see how easy these guys come out. Uh, as you can see, I've pulled off this intake. I forgot to say, all I did was unscrew this, pull it back just so it's not in our way for clearing this first uh, area. If you have two hands, these are incredibly easy to remove. All you have to do is push this down while it's out and pull and you're out. Uh, now this apparently has a grommet, but I looked at it already and there's two. So there's one here and one here. I want to pull towards you. That's one. You see it's wiggling already. And now there's a second one right here. And you heard that. And now we have all the play we need. And I'm just going to attack these T30s right here. All you need is one of these guys, a T30. And then you can go ahead and remove those coil packs, take out the spark plugs, and Bob's your uncle. So numero uno is now out, and the spark plug is still in there. But this is what the coil pack looks like. It's still pretty hot from when I was driving. The red is going to look significantly different, but they both look pretty much the same other than the color. It's new, so why not change everything? And this is my whole setup to take out the spark plug right here. You have your 3.8 wrench. And then you have your 12 point socket, which is a 14 millimeter thin wall swivel. This is what I ordered. Hopefully this fits. Um, I'm gonna do it on camera just to see if it does. It should. Yes, it looks like it goes in. We are in business, guys. Okay, and there we have it. The beautiful, Beautiful spark plug. Well, not so beautiful. It's actually kind of dirty. Let's see what the new one looks like in comparison. And here you have the comparison, guys. Here's the old one, quite obviously. Very dirty, not horrendous, um, but the gap looks a tiny bit different. I can't really tell, but anyways, new one is going in. This one is nice and cold. This one is on fire because the car is still warm. Let's go on and put this guy in. All right, guys, so good news, bad news, it's all bad news. So this is the first one I took out. This is the last one towards the back on the same side. As you can see, covered in oil, uh, potentially leaking gasket. I'm gonna look into this further, um, but that's the new one for a comparison. So definitely not a great situation. Uh, I'm gonna look into this further, but for now I'm gonna change them anyway and then we'll go from there. All right, so I've already tightened the bolts to spec, which are 22 pound feet. And now we're gonna put the dielectric grease on the new coil packs as you can see here. Uh, I'm not a pro, so I'm just gonna estimate how much goes in here. I don't really know. I'm just gonna be pretty generous with it. Uh, okay. Hopefully that is enough. And then that's gonna go in and I'm gonna do that for all of them. So first side is now complete. We'll show you that after because it's getting a little dark, but let's look down here on what we have next. So again, there's these red tabs, uh, one, two, and three. You have to pull this coil pack back. Um, apparently here there's a tab. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Uh, it's like that. 
Okay, there's one side. There should be a grommet as well. Okay, sick. Now we have a little bit of play. The only thing is this one's bigger, so we're gonna have to figure out where to tug and what to do. But at least now we can pull these tabs out. That's out. I know you can't see it as well, but we'll show you guys everything after. And this one we can take from here probably. Yep. Perfect. All right. Quick update. As you can see, the coil packs on the right side are finally in. It takes a little bit of wiggling. What we did was actually we took off the ECU. So it's got a little bit of play here. One screw here, here, and over here. Um, and then I also undid this cable here. That way you have quite a bit of play. You can go over or under. So nice and dancy. All I got to do is bolt those in. I've already put the dielectric grease. The spark plug has been torqued. Uh, and then that's everything and we'll show you the final finished product, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was So you can definitely do this at home. Okay guys. So finally, uh, it didn't take too long But it was a lot of uh, meandering through these small spaces. All this stuff is now bolted in ECU is in This is all solid. We've looked everything over just to make sure I'm gonna show you guys right now what this looks like It is stunning in red if you can see right here. What do you think? That's freaking cool, dude. Right? Beautiful. The red sticks out nicely, contrasts against all the black, all the metal. So racy now. And uh, the most important thing, though, is uh, is this car going to start now? So let's find that out. Moment of truth. Let's go. Hey, look. It worked. It worked. He's alive. Wow. Nice. He's alive. I was crossing my fingers hoping it was going to work, and it did. Nice. And just like that, another install is done. Before we end this video, I just want to say it was a little bit finicky, but we got it done. There's some small spaces, uh, quite a bit of play. A second set of hands will definitely help you. So thank you to my videographer here, Ricky, today. Um, it worked out well. My brother's a little ill. That's why he's not in the video today. With that said, big shout out to ECS Tuning. They hooked it up. They gave us a sick deal as always on this stuff. Uh, it's very plug and play, very easy. The car starts up, no issues. Uh, and that's about it, guys. We'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Subscribe for more. Give us a big like. Take care.